Hey guys, welcome back to another video where we're continuing our series of going through a mix together, going through a song together. This was a live session from uh, this past Sunday. Uh, it is a, uh, a Christian worship band, and we're going to go through the mix together in my process. Um, the last video, I mentioned that uh, we were going to be you know, jumping into the drums, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started on the drums. Uh, which I think will be kind of fun. There's a lot of work to do on the drums. Uh, they are super dry recordings coming from a plexiglass drum cage. Um, I do want to create a drum bus as well, um, and I'll show you how to do that as, as well. Um, so before we go ahead and jump into the session, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Our goal is 200 subscribers by the end of the year. I think we're at 167 at this point. Uh, I think we can do it. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. We will bring more to you. Um, okay, so drums, right? There's the kick in, kick out, hi-hat, snare, rack, tom, floor, tom, overheads. Now, when it comes to tackling drums, it can be kind of a lot. Uh, what I like to do is I like to, uh, I guess, uh, let's go ahead and mute these guys we'll go ahead and mute everything um, and before anyone thinks or you know dares to comment and says hey uh, where's the bass track we're gonna make our own bass track we're gonna track some bass I'm gonna import it into the session uh, I had a bass track but the bass player actually could not make it to the session he was a, uh, a, a no-show um, there was really no communication there but um, they ended up being no bassist. So that's fine. We can we can add bass in later because, you know, we're able to. Uh, the beauty of post-production. So I'm going to go ahead and mute these guys. And if you come up here to this top left, right, if you click on these little black circles, your tracks will, you know, they don't delete or anything. They just kind of disappear from view. Kind of like it's just, you're just hiding your track. And so I'm going to uh, take everything out that's not drums so we only have our drums here now uh, what I like to do is I like to clean up the drums so there's no bleed now this is a live session don't get me wrong you can absolutely keep the bleed if you like you can try to uh, you know make it authentic as as you possibly can I for one like a tight drum kit so any kind of bleed I'm just not a fan of so if we go ahead and hit this drum group, anything that I do to the drums, it will do to all of them. So you can see here I can click and the playhead goes to where I need it. Now that's not going to be the case here because I don't want to edit and cut everything. So if we go ahead and solo the kick drum here and hit play, obviously you're not going to really hear anything that's when we can start hearing stuff right that's our kick drum and so these transients there we go again and so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna raise the overall volume of these drums especially the kick drum here because I wanna be able to hear what I'm seeing here there we go. And so as you can tell, if we widen this, command right bracket will expand it. You can see these little notches here, and this is just to um, show you that there is bleed coming through right here. There is there is absolutely bleed coming through. So again, just like last week, you can either command E and cut it right at the transit. You can either cut it out or you can mute it. It is totally up to you. Um, I, it, honestly, it doesn't really matter. Let's, let's, I guess, just mute it at this point. Uh, here we'll do command E, command E. Actually, no, you know what? Let's cut it. We'll cut it. Um, and so I'm, I'm just going to do this throughout the entire song. And yes, it is tedious and no, I'm not going to force you to watch it. 
I'm only going to do a few to give you the idea here, and then I'm going to, in post-production uh, editing, I am going to just fast forward to where we need to get to. Okay, but for the sake of demonstration, you're going to eventually do all of that with your drums. So here we go. So like, so now you're only getting that. So now you shouldn't have any bleed really coming through. You may get a few little things here and there, but at least when you EQ and compress and add effects, you're not doing it to the bleeding, which is going to cause a lot of chaos sometimes. Um, but that is that. All right, guys, so I'm going to make a cut here. I'm going to go ahead and edit the drums so we can get all the cuts where we need it. It's not necessary for you to see. Command E, cut right at the playhead. Um, only keep the transients that are important to the drum kit, right? Um, so we'll be right back. All right, uh, well, here we are. Uh, I went ahead and did the painful job of cutting where it needed to be cut and removing any part that needed to be removed. Um, there was no point of showing you. Command E will cut, cut wherever you see uh, that's before or after the transient as far as the track is concerned. So now with that, we have all of our drums cleaned up. You can see here that we have it all spliced up. Um, this hi-hat track has got a lot of bleed uh, from the uh, from the overheads and things like that. But it, when I mute it, it doesn't make that much of a difference. So we're going to actually kind of keep it in there. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a drum bus. So Command Shift N. We'll do one aux stereo. I'll go ahead and create that. We'll call this drum bus. I don't know why I put two S's. Drum bus. We'll give it an input. We'll give it seven and eight. We'll rename it so there's no confusion. We'll call it drum bus, right? And then we're gonna send this guy to submix. And then the output will actually be from these guys here. We will option shift send the out uh, send the output to bus drum bus. So now all of our drums are going to the input of the drum bus, which are and that drum bus is now going to the sub mix. What this is going to do, this drum bus is going to act as a, a fader to control the entire drum mix. So I will set levels here in terms of the balance of the drum kit. And then if I want to improve or decrease the overall drum volume, I can then use this. Uh, and so when we hit play, let's go ahead and select our drum group, hit solo. So we should only hear the drums. Let's go to a part where the drums are fully in. We'll go here. And when we hit play, we should see and hear the drum still, but then we can use the fader. There you go. Our drum bus is working. And because that drum bus is being fed into submix, now we can control with our master fader. And the beautiful thing about that is if we put processing on our submix again, we don't have to worry about losing signal to our processing, which is why I don't advise using the master fader only as a master fader. You create submix that feeds into the master fader. Um, so that's drum organization. I panned these all back to center in the last video I had them kind of panned uh, 
but uh, I'm gonna actually mix the drums in mono and then and then pan accordingly. So that is my process of cleaning up the drums. EQing and compressing is a whole different monster. That's gonna be a separate video. Right now, I want to get everything that I need in terms of, you know, the drums being cleaned up and kind of balanced. You know, we can go ahead and kind of balance the drums now. Just do something really quick and simple. You know, and then to get kind of the rack and floor tom, which he doesn't really do a lot. Let's see what this sounds like. Okay, so let's, come on. We'll loop that. So I don't think that's a bad starting point in terms of the drum balance and, and once we get it EQ'd and, and, and compressed and you know, it's all gonna sound good. I'm gonna, I wanna add some electric guitars. I wanna add bass. So it's gonna be fully flushed out. It's gonna sound completely different once we're done. But this was the idea for today's video to get the drums at least cleaned up and uh, with the drum bus. And uh, I hope you guys learned something new from this video. The next video, um, I want to try to tackle maybe adding some pads, uh, pick a pad in this key and then have it as an overlay as just something that's constantly in the background that gives a certain uh, umph to the overall track. Um, I'm going to see if I can add some electric guitars to this track and then we can uh, balance the electric guitar and the acoustic guitar. I think it would be very, very cool. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Again, this is not going to be a short kind of like one, two, or even three or four videos. It's going to be until we finish the song, as many videos as it takes. And I hope you guys learned something new in this video. Leave a comment about uh, how you go about doing drums in terms of cleaning them up and, and, uh, and balancing them. Um, but that is it for today. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care.